Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? My name is Alex Bendania from La Santa Cecilia and I'm here to share with you the Fender Technique of the Week. How to sauce up your bass lines using a chromatic scale. So a lot of the times, you know, we focus on playing bass lines that are part of a scale or part of a progression. What I like to do is kind of think outside the box a little bit and use notes that are not part of the scale. So as an example, I'm going to use one of our songs called Falling from La Santa Cecilia. It's in E minor, so the first thing I'll do is play an E minor scale. E minor only has one sharp, F sharp. After that, I'll look at the notes that are not part of the scale. For example, F, A sharp, D sharp, G sharp, C sharp. And if you notice, F is only a half a step away from the right note. For example, if I go from F to F sharp, that's an E minor. If I go from F to E, well now we're at the root of the, of the scale, right? Sometimes I like to think about it like there is no wrong notes, you're just kind of like a half a step away from the right note. So the next thing I'll do is I'll play all the notes in the scale and the notes that are not, which creates a chromatic scale like this. So once I got all that figured out, I'll play the bass line and I'll do some fills using you know, just stuff that's in the scale, right? And after that, I'll start throwing in more stuff from the chromatic scale, kind of, you know, to sauce things up a little bit. So there you have it. Sauced up the bass line a little bit using a chromatic scale. Had some fun. All right, that's been your Fender Technique of the Week. My name is Alex Bendania from La Santa Cecilia. And if you're looking for more tutorials like this, check us out on Fender Play.